what is going on on this beautiful day here in Florida? Uh, summertime has hit, it's really hot, but I'm out here in the evening. Want to shoot a quick video for everybody. This is a follow-up question from a previous video I did about uh, recruiters and staffing firms. So if you haven't seen that one yet, you can go back and watch that later. I'll put a link down here, but it was one of my newest videos. I got a question from somebody asking about the contract jobs and the term jo or the temporary jobs. So let me clarify something. When you are working with the staffing firms, a lot of them are doing short term placements for their customers, okay? So you will find that there's a lot of positions that are from three to 12 month contracts, okay? So sometimes they're referred to as contractors or you know just temporary work. I want you to understand that you should not overlook those options, okay? Especially if you're new to IT and you're looking to get in or if you don't have a job and you need a job. Don't overlook these. And the reason why is because you never know when an opportunity is going to present itself. Let me give you an example. Say you find a six month contract, okay? It looks really good, the pay is good, it sounds interesting, right? And you take the job. Your main objective for the first few weeks, determine whether or not that is a company that you could see yourself with long term. Okay? Do you like the environment? Do you like the people? Do you like the job? Do you like everything about it? Okay? Um, if you do, okay, your next objective is to do everything in your power to make a good name for yourself, right? You need to start getting in with the management there. Make yourself known. Do an outstanding job. Kick ass, okay? And the reason is because a lot of these companies will hire on people as full-time employees at the end of the contract. So you never ever know what can happen in these little, small, um, short, term contracts, right? So you want to make sure that you do the best you can and make a name for yourself and kick butt and get to know everybody there because you could have an opportunity present itself to you and you never know what could happen. All right. So, um, if it's a company that you don't really want to work for, then write out the contract. And in the meantime, you can look for something else. Now on that basis, what you need to do is check with the recruiter, and ask them if they don't tell you, which I'm sure they will. Ask them what the terms are of this contract, meaning if you're two months into a six month contract and you find another opportunity, are you allowed to get out of that contract? Okay, what are your obligations? So make sure that that question is addressed before you sign. Okay, this way you understand all of that. And uh, the second question was pay. Um, a lot of times, these contract jobs, the pay is a lot better than what you'll find elsewhere. And the main reason for that is because the companies that, that the staffing firm is working for and that you will actually be working for, they don't have to pay out any kind of benefits, so they have more room to, to pay a bigger salary, okay? Because they save a, a, a bunch of money by not paying benefits. And so that's one of the main reasons why you'll find these jobs paying more money or these contracts. Now, the other thing too is that the staffing firms, some of them offer uh, health benefits, which could be something that's obviously very important for most people, at least here in the States. So that's another thing that you need to, to look for as well. Do they offer some kind of benefits? And so that's the, that's the whole reasoning behind more pay um, I'm not saying that that is always going to happen. You know, it just depends on the job market and where you're located and all that kind of stuff. So, um, anyways, I really hope that that answers that question and it, and it, and it clarifies some of the things about working with recruiters. So don't overlook the short term contracts because you never know what could happen. That is the main point right there. And number two, um, the pay. So, Anyways, hope that helps you out. Leave the comments below. I'd love to hear all the comments, questions about this topic or anything else on IT related. And if this is your first time here, I wanna welcome you. If, uh, if you have the inclination to subscribe, I'd, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. 
And if you haven't gotten my um, free resource guide, you can do so down below. And for everyone else that keeps watching my videos, appreciate you, each and every single one of you. Have a good day. We'll talk to you soon.